We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest for this afternoon, Dr. Rehem Maram, the Egyptologist and cultural heritage expert. Dr. Rehem, a very good afternoon to you, ma'am. Dr. Rehem, are you with us on the line? Hello, yes, I'm on the line. Hello. Good afternoon, doctor. How are you today? Good afternoon. I'm fine. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining us. Doctor, let me start by talking to you a bit about Cairo Governorate. Of course, a very, very important governorate celebrating a very important anniversary, uh, which includes ancient as well as modern Egyptian history. Tell us a bit about some of the most important features and cultural uh, features of, of Cairo Governorate, ma'am. Uh, well, Cairo Governorate is uh, very unique in its history. Indeed. Um, it's a city that uh, includes uh, uh, old monuments even since the Egyptian, ancient Egyptian era. Yes. I mean, like in uh, Motareya, you can have an obelisk uh, returning back to the time of the New Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, meanwhile, you have the Islamic monuments and the Islamic civilization in the center of Egypt where we call it Historic Cairo or Fatimid Cairo, uh, like in uh, Al Muayz Street or like in Azhar mm -hmm. area or uh, also. Meanwhile, we have also the modern era which is represented in the monuments or not really monuments, but in the buildings of downtown or what we call Kedival Cairo. Mm -hmm. So it's a very large city with a very old uh, history that is uh, uh, remaining uh, till now and uh, is uh, still uh, in very uh, great condition and it's very developing each year. Absolutely. Dr. Rehel, let me ask you, how do you see some of the developments that have been uh, taking place to preserve some of the cultural history uh, in the Cairo Governorate? Well, I, uh, we have to say that uh, during the last Ten years during the last decade, we kind of witnessed a lot of development uh, projects, uh, starting from Tahrir Square, mm -hmm. uh, where everything were completely changed to a better uh, urban um, representation for uh, the capital of Egypt, with the symbolism, with the obelisk in the middle to, to symbolize Egyptian, ancient Egyptian uh, history. Uh, meanwhile, um, all the buildings for, le let's say, for Kedival Cairo, for example, or downtown Cairo, um, as we call it, it has witnessed a lot of development and renovation, refurbishment for the buildings that date back to the 19th century, uh, when Egypt started a new era of its, uh, of its history under Khedive Ismail, uh, who transformed or who built this um, area of Egypt, which was the new capital at this time. Indeed. Uh, when he came back to, uh, to Egypt after his visit to Paris, and he uh, was determined to make uh, the capital of Egypt uh, like an example for the whole world where we name it at the time Paris of the East. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you can say Cairo had, was uh, really fortunate to have all this development projects and witnessed a lot of development, renovation for, for its building, rehabilitation, for its services even, uh, and uh, even the antiquities and the monuments of the Islamic uh, area in historic Cairo, it, it also witnessed a lot of uh, projects of development. Absolutely, Doctor. Finally, uh, could you tell us a bit about some of the most important features of uh, cultural uh, Cairo? Well, in Egypt you can find um, uh, different cultures. What is really interesting about Cairo is that it welcomes every uh, new culture, Indeed. but it can maintain its own culture at the same time, mm -hmm. and it still ha could have its influence and its impact on the new cultures. Uh, what differentiates Egypt or makes it unique also is that we have uh, safeguarded our intangible cultural heritage since the time of, uh, of the medieval era mm -hmm. till now. Mm -hmm. You can say that in our culture till today, we have safeguarded, we have 
the same traditions, uh, the same festivals, the same way of celebration that we used to have during the medieval era. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we used to make it like for Ramadan, like for Eid, for example, same kind of dishes that we eat, same kind of celebrations that we do, family traditions, family gatherings. Indeed. And so these are all a kind of intangible cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. And it's a part of our culture that we succeeded to uh, inherit it and to, to pass it uh, to the new generations uh, since we are still practicing it. Absolutely. So this is one of the features of of, of Absolutely. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Rehem Ramar, Egyptologist and cultural heritage expert. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time and your insight on today's episode of Cairo Local Time. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and we'll be back for more, and just stay tuned.